welcome along to the Perth Racing Preview. Hi, Marty Young with you and another big day's racing, spring racing at Belmont Park. You've had a good look at the fields, Dion. Excited? I have, Marty. I'm excited. They're only small fields, but good racing, Saturday. Well, uh, it certainly was good racing here at Belmont Park on Wednesday as well. William Pike riding four winners and uh, looks like Pikey is back on song. That's right, Marty. And Tipster's in good form also. Yes, you even got amongst the winners for a change. That's, uh, you might be on the right track. Could be. Let's keep it up. A shower or two clearing is the forecast for Saturday. The expected maximum temperature of a very cool 17 degrees and the track's been rated good with the rail going to 12 metres from the 9 metre position last Wednesday. And the first event of the day is the Julia Dorno Memorial Handicap. Three-year-olds to do battle over the 1,200 metres. Now we've got this race pretty well covered, Dion. Apart from Dante's hijack, as we look at the race card, who on debut at the trials ran second to Audi. But let's roll tape, and the first of the horses to have a look at is My Time. Just in front of the Philly Bless Gay, My Time quickly improving into third place. This is the one that they're on. Behind them, Lasita trying to warm up, and then further back in the field, right I am at the 250. And My Time, Bless Gay, join the future. Lasita's behind them, not coming quickly enough, but it's My Time which reaches the lead. My Time gets the better of Bless Gay, followed by the future. Lasita, but My Time boots away, and they've landed very good bets with this newcomer. My time, most auspicious debut, beat Bless Gay and Lasita. Good win by My Time first up, landed some pretty big bets too, so the connections were confident and the form's held up quite well with Bless Gay finishing behind him. Yep, certainly has, so uh, definitely one to keep an eye on on Saturday is My Time. Brave Knight was rattling home. Let's have a look at his last run. Lasita, a length and a half to Freak Storm. Brave Knight will track Lasita commencing the swing for home and Ken Drift is last of all. Sawgrass headed by Can Turk, B. Lear and Lasita. Lasita got the nose in front. B. Lear trying to go with her two lengths. Freak Storm, Brave Knight winding up. 150 out Lasita and B. Lear together from Can Turk with Brave Knight running on hard. Can Turk fights back though on the inside to rejoin B. Lear from Brave Knight. Can Turk on the inside lift and a real bulldog win. Was able to score from B. Lair. Brave Knight, a good run first up. I saw him in the yard, Brave Knight. He's a big, leggy type. Definitely wouldn't have been suited over the 1,000 metres. So stepping up to the 1,200, I think you'll see a different horse this week. Mm, I agree. Here's one to keep an eye on. It was, was a walk in the park for Glen Aaron Lass. She'll straighten up about a length and a half, Mr. Squiggles and Freak Storm, which is tracking it. At the 350 in the trio, swing the corner, Glen Aaron Lass, tackled by Mr. Squiggles on straightening, and Freak Storm also having a real presence as he winds up Glen Aaron Lass at the 200, really making a ass to go now. Here comes Freak Storm down the outside. Glen Aaron Lass leads Freak Storm, though, from Mr. Squiggles, and Glen Aaron Lass will be too strong at the finish. Glen Aaron Lass by a little over a length on Freak Storm. It was only a three-horse field, but she did do it easy, and the horse she beat, Freak Storm, went out and ran a good race the following Saturday, so good form behind them. OK, we'll take you back to the trials now and have a look at this impressive performance by Audi. The straight, Audi just in front. Moving up was Did I Do on the outside, going up stylishly now. Going thrill on the inside was Gaelic Smile. And then on the outside, trying to join in was Productivity, and they've raced away from the others, headed by Guildford Road. But Audi had dashed five lengths in front with 100 to go. It's well clear. Boxing on strongly is Did I Do. On the outside was Productivity, then Gaelic Smile. The rest are a mile away, but Audi is going to walk in, wins by five lengths. Audi first, second home was Did I Do. It was an impressive trial win, won by six lengths on that occasion, but we have to take into consideration it was only Monday, it was only five days from the trials, and it, it is an ask for a horse racing first up, and also it was in no quicker time than any of the other trials on the day, which suggests perhaps the horses chasing Audi home aren't really up to the mark. All right, well let's find out from the rider of Audi. Here's Stephen Parnham. Had two recent trials, won both of them. Yeah, he's... Um only had the one start last time in um, and pulled up Shinsaw after the run. He, he let him up and and compounded in the finish. Had a good break and he's come back and had a couple of trials now. And um, He's impressed his last trial. It was quite good. He was pushed out, wasn't he? And uh, he really put a margin on his rivals. Yeah, I just wanted to see um, what was left in the tank. Um, he's a, a running horse and sometimes they can... Um, get away with it in trials a bit and I just just wanted to see how he, how he goes and um, he, he'll give me a good feel. Well we'll stay at Belmont Park trials last Monday and have a look at the win of She's My Mac. Three 
quarters. Nikita Lediva is out very wide on the track and tending to hang a little bit. Getting through now was She's My Mac into second place again strongly. Getting up on the inside was Volcanic Causeway. Now really starting to put in was Swala Granti. Just cruised up to them with 200 to go. Swala Granti has raced up on the outside and taken the lead. Now trying to come back as She's My Mac and also strategic request on the inside. Swala Granti, She's My Mac diving through late. She's My Mac has gone home better and beaten Swala Granti. I liked the trial of She's My Mac. It looked like she was going to be beaten about a furlong out and really dug deep to fight that second horse off. I was more impressed by that than Audie, but and also five days for her as well. All right, Sean O'Donnell's the man who'll be riding She's My Mac and Wes Cameron caught up with Donga at Belmont on Wednesday. Trial form reads up pretty well. Yes, yeah, she's a um, little bit exciting. Um, unknown at this stage because she hasn't raced, but her trial form suggests she's going to be more than handy hopefully. Obviously gives you a good feel? Yeah definitely she's done every ride on the track um, you know one of those horses you just got to wait and see. Nice field on Saturday but uh, I'm sure she'll give it a shake. That's the big question mark isn't it uh, whether or not the ability is there to match it with the horses that have got the race experience? Yeah funny enough you know you win trials on the horses and you think they're going to go good and race pressure comes on race day some can't do it. Well, selections in race number one and D on the favourites have been having a really good run of it at Belmont Park of late and pretty sure my time's going to open up favourite here and I think it'll win. My time on top to beat six Audi and I've always been impressed with seven Lady Iconic from the day I first saw her at Lark Hill. She did the right thing at um, Northern when she won last start and from her inside barrier will give a good sight. One, six and seven in race number one. Number one, my time on top for me to win off the strength of that first up win. It has been a month since this uh, gelding went around, but I think he's better than these and he is the proven horse. To beat number three, Glen Aaron Lass, I know it was only a three-horse field, but it was still a good win. And to run third, number two, Brave Knight.